All right, welcome to the replay. Welcome, Lucila. Those of you joining live, welcome. I'm going to teach you a pretty cool magic trick tonight. Let me turn this around and say hello. All right, welcome to all of you joining. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Dr. Joe McCullough. I'm the physics program chair at Cabrillo College in Santa Cruz, California. I'm also best-selling author of Accelerated Learning Techniques for Students. And I made a one-year commitment to get on Periscope every single day and share daily doses of dopamine through education, entertainment, and inspiration. Today is all about entertainment. What I'm going to do is show you how to make a card disappear seemingly into thin air, and I'll show you how to do it. But let me warn you, this trick takes practice. It's not nearly as easy as some of the other magic tricks I've shared with you. So let me turn this and then show you the trick. Actually, let me turn it the other way. Sorry. Okay. So let me see if I can get this just right. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me show you the trick and then I'll explain how it works. All right, so you got a card. You make it disappear and you bring it back. Make it disappear, bring it back. Oops, try it again. Make it disappear, bring it back. Make it disappear, bring it back. Hey, Bobber, welcome. Now this trick, the technique is called the back palm. Hey there, Becca, good to see you. So Becca, just so you know, this trick is not nearly as easy as the $2 trick I showed you. It will require quite a bit of practice and I'm really just starting to learn it. But let me show you slow motion what's happening. So the motion is with these two fingers right here, what you're gonna do is take the card, and let me turn it around this way. So this is what it looks like from the back. So you've got the card, take it with these two fingers and these top ones, flip it to the back. So the front view, you cannot see the card. The back view, the card is behind. The technique is called the back palm. So again, what you're doing is taking the card with your two fingers, these middle two fingers right here, what you're doing is pushing them in, taking these fingers here, going like that. Slow motion, like that. One more time, slow motion, like that. And let me show you from the back. So here's your hand. These two fingers are going to take the card and push it like that. And then these two fingers here are going to get the card and slowly bring it back like that. Now, if you were to just do this slow, then it would be obvious exactly what's going on. Let me grab another card. But one of the cool principles in magic is a big movement hides a smaller movement. So what I'm doing is I'm not just taking the card and going like that. What I'm doing is I'm moving my hand and then that bigger motion of moving my hand hides the smaller motion. Yes, misdirection. So if I were to just do this like that, even if I do it fast, you would see what's going on. But if instead I'm moving the card as I'm doing it, then that bigger motion hides the smaller motion. Now, a few little hints when you're doing this. You actually want the card. Where can I buy your books? I don't see them on Google. Oh, thank you for asking. So the book is called Accelerated Learning Techniques for Students. It's available on Amazon.com. And uh, let me just do a little shout out. It hit number one in study skills in seven different countries. I'm an international bestseller. Woohoo! Okay, anyway, back to this. If you have, you're very welcome. And Neuron MD44, I've seen you here before. What is your name? So I can actually call you by name. I would love to be able to refer to you. Woot woot! Thank you there, Becca. Okay, wow. So here we go again. A couple hints first is <laughs> you want your card to be somewhat loose. Chris, thank you, Chris. I will remember that. 
So you want the card, when you're going to do this, you actually want to sort of bend the card and give it a little bit of flexibility. And then again, what you're doing in slow motion is these two fingers here, taking the card and pushing it in. So here's what it looks like from the back. And then these two top fingers are grabbing it here, squeezing, and then you're opening up your hand. Now, when you first start doing this, you'll probably have a bunch of the cards sticking out. So you can kind of see here, I've got a bunch of the cards sticking out, but when it's far away, it's not as noticeable. And if you're moving your hand at the same time, it's hardly noticeable. The more you practice this, you'll get to the point where if I show you close, you can barely see the card sticking out. Here's what it looks like from the back. So again, it's called the back palm. Let me show you in full speed. The secret league of magicians will be angry for you for revealing secrets. Ah, I'm glad you brought that up. I only reveal magician secrets that you can find readily available on YouTube. I have shown several other magic tricks where I don't reveal the secret, but I tell people where you can buy them. And let me just give a shout out to Penguin Magic. Penguin Magic, you can Google it. They have phenomenal customer service. They have great magic tricks and I love them. If you want to learn this in more detail, the technique is called the back palm, just like palming a car, but you're palming it in the back. So let me show you it again in full speed and then quickly go through step by step. So full speed is you've got the card, card disappears, comes back, card disappears, comes back. So again, what you're doing in slow motion is these two fingers are squeezing the card so it's flat. And then these two fingers are going over top and then you're just doing it back. And then to bring it into appearance, all you're doing is reversing the motion. So you bring your hands back, grab it with the thumb, and then your hands go out. So let me show you again in slow motion and then I'll answer any questions. So slow motion is these hands come in, these fingers come in, squeeze, then you go back and then to reverse it, you just reverse the process. Fingers come back in like that. In speed, you can't see it. And again, the key is A, big motion in magic hides a smaller motion misdirection. I would never just sit here and make it disappear like that. That's too obvious. But if I'm moving my hand as I'm doing it, then you can't do it. And let me just say, there's some phenomenal YouTube videos out there. There's people that can do this with an entire deck of cards, meaning they'll just keep vanishing a card. They can actually palm like an entire deck of cards behind their hands. And it's crazy. There's people there that are just spectacular. I've just been practicing this for not that long, but let me tell you, it does take a lot of practice. I've gone through, you ask my wife, there'd be 30, 40, 50 cards on the living room floor as I'm practicing this while I'm watching TV. So let me do this one last time and then I'll pause and see if there's any questions. So again, the technique is called the back palm. And what you're doing in slow motion is these two fingers here are pinching the card. These two fingers go back and here's what it looks like from reverse. Okay, so my name is Joe. I'm on Periscope every single day. This is day 38. I'm sharing daily doses of dopamine through education, entertainment, and inspiration. Thank you for sharing. You're so welcome. So today was all about entertainment. Tomorrow I'm starting a series on the brain. What do we know about the brain? And this is going to be for both educators and for students. If you're a student, how can we take what we know from neuroscience to help you learn anything faster? If you're a teacher, how can you use that information to make sure that the lesson really sticks in your students' long-term memories? Have you shared this one with your students yet? No. <laughs> I have shown them some pretty cool tricks. My goal is as a teacher, I want to do at least one magic trick every single week. And actually what I've been trying to do is tie all of the magic tricks to physics lessons. So when I do something like this, I might actually be talking about quantum mechanics and how Schrodinger's equation 
Anyway, that's beside the point. I try and actually tie everything to physics. Okay, are there any questions I can answer before I sign out for the evening? Getting over fear class. Uh, I'm not quite sure. If, is that a question? If it is, let me just say that I don't mind messing up. I have shown many magic tricks over the last year or two where I've completely have messed it up. And those are actually the most memorable for my students. Same thing with physics demonstrations. If I show a physics demonstration where things go horribly wrong, well, not horribly wrong, but if they go wrong, those are the ones that really stick. Who are my main influences? So I don't have like one major magician influence. I love penguin magic and I find a lot of really good stuff on YouTube. Show the trick one more time. Okay, I'll show it one more time and then I'll do it in slow motion and then I will check out. So it's called the back palm. You're making a card disappear. Hold on, I'm gonna block you. The first person I've ever blocked. Oh, I'm not even sure how do I block somebody. Oh, Adam, you're lucky. He's gonna block you, okay. Here we go. And again, what you're doing in slow motion is these two fingers are bending the cards this way. These fingers come over top and you go back. Done in slow motion, it's obvious, but in magic, a bigger motion holds, hides a smaller motion. So you're moving the hand like that. Okay. What do I need to get ready? I'm retiring soon. I missed that question. If you want to ask it one more time, I'd be happy to answer it. Your teacher, magic on the side. Yes, I teach college physics and I try to throw in magic tricks just to keep class exciting and interesting. Is there a community college near you? That's for Garrett. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Let me just tell you Monday, I, like I said, I'm starting a series on the brain, probably be a four or five day series. And then after that, I'm gonna start a series on 21 day no complaint experiment. It's an experiment I do with my students. The goal is to go 21 straight days without a single complaint about anything. Okay, for those of you that enjoyed this, please swipe from left to right on an Android straight up on an iPhone, follow me, invite your viewers to follow you. And thank you so much. I'll be sharing more physics tricks as the year go on. This is day 38 of a one year challenge I've given myself to broadcast every day on Periscope. Thank you, thank you, great, thank you. Everyone, you are so welcome. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Joe and I will hopefully catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you for following. All right, how do I stop this when it's there? There we go. Okay, I'm actually signing out now. Have a great night.